we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to do one single tree sitting in the field that's backlit. And that's what it's going to be today. Something different. Hopefully not super complicated. <laughs> I, it shouldn't be, to be quite honest with you, but you never know. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some background stuff in here. And basically by doing that, I mean I'm just going to put some put some stuff back here, some collars, random collars. I mean, this this don't even matter. This is just background. I don't even care if it's blurry. It can be blurry if you want it to be. It don't even matter because the tree is going to cover every bit of this just about. Black. Except it needs to be kind of dark though, so to speak. Black, sap green, little ochre every once in a while, just for a different color. Put some burnt sienna in it. We don't want to come below right here. That's as far down as we want to come. And this is all dry. There is no liquid white or liquid clear on here. This is not a wet on wet. This is completely dry and that's why I'm scrubbing. Yeah, we just want a nice random mix of stuff. Maybe even a little darker. Maybe a little darker. Hey, let me show you what I'm doing now. <clears throat> I'm just making some blurry background stuff. That's all I'm doing. I'm using two different brushes. I'm just seeing which one works the best here. This is a one inch brush. Because you're not going to, most of it, you're not going to see, you're just going to see this bottom part. This is just, like I've said before, just background. You won't really pay much attention, but you got to have it because it, it's part of the picture. See how hard that is? That's not what you want. So you can take this brush and you can soften it just by tapping it and then kind of very lightly just kind of smear it out. Just kind of, oops, I used the wrong brush, but that's okay, it still worked. And I'm taking a little bit of dark color and going around the bottom part here. And we're going to soften this also. Yeah, that's, this is all you're wanting. Nothing major, just stuff. And we're just going to keep going over here. Just throwing some stuff in really quick. Taking this. This brush is actually dirty. I just had the black on it. Just kind of smearing it in. Let me take a touch of white. Just kind of see that's what it looks like when you use a little bit of white. I kind of like that a little bit. So we'll do that. Smudge it in. Take my softening brush, the correct one this time, and just kind of just barely go over it. Just barely go over it. Well, let's go ahead and put our tree in. I tell you what, man, I almost wish I'd made something different with this painting because I, I really like this up here. <laughs> I mean, it's strange, but I, I like that. I almost wished I would. I mean, I could change my mind now. It's not too late. But I've already said I'm going to put a tree in, so let's do that. I really like how that looks. Um, this is a pretty good sized tree and it's going to come all the way down here. All the way down here. It's going to go up. And it looks like it curves over. This is raw umber and brown. Burnt, burnt umber and raw umber. Let's see. Let's Let's not make it as wide as it, I think it should be to start with. Because we can always add more tree. 
but it's hard to take it away. This, like I said, this is going to have, there's a great big branch right here. I mean, it's a, it's a doozy. Bigger than this. It's a whopper. Lots of branches, lots of leaves. More leaves than anything. Oh, let's see, it looks like it comes over here. Hooks in here. I'm not gonna fill all this in with branches, just some of it, because all it's gonna do is make a mess when I try to put leaves on it. Um, I can do some of this later, some of these branches. Here's a pretty big one. And I, plus I gotta switch brushes anyway. This is a great big, this is a number four I'm using, which is really big. That's why I can't make these, I can't keep going with these branches. The brush is way too big to start with. Here's one right here. It comes up, over, down. At least ours will. I got a picture I'm looking at. If you see me looking up, that's what I'm looking at right there. Um, let's see, I may have to switch brushes real soon. I think there's one that kind of comes like this, kind of goes down. Let me switch brushes. Get a smaller brush. This is a number, well, that's not the right one. Here's the right one. This is a number two. And I'm just going to put some branches Kind of where, you know, I'm not going to load it up right now. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna, I'll add branches after I get some leaves on in certain spots. But I am not going to load it up right now. Matter of fact, I'm going to stop right there. I was going to stop right there on that one. Some branches are showing, some are not. I know this looks crazy and ridiculous, but I'm gonna stop that right there. It's going over here. Looks like there's a branch that comes way down, goes up. Just all kinds of branches everywhere. Here's one that goes like this, comes over. Some are in here. That's crazy looking, isn't it? It'll make, it'll make more sense here a little bit later. Okay, let's go ahead and fill this in right here. Get my big brush back. Raw umber and burnt umber. All the way to the top, bring it down. This painting is real wet where we just put this in. But if I had used liquid white or liquid clear on that, man, that that'd really be a mess right now. At least it don't it don't feel like a really bad mess to be honest with you because it I, it was so dry. The canvas was nice and dry and wasn't wet. It's always best to have a dry to me, I think it is. Unless you're doing a mountain painting or something that you just want to be different. And I do sometimes. I, I almost always use them in my mountains anymore. Liquid white. Okay, I'm back. I was testing some of my yellow right there to see how, because this is wet. See how it'd work. I mean, it's mm, it's okay. I may have to wait till tomorrow and do some. And I kind of thought I might, but I'm gonna cheat a little bit, if that's what you want to call it. There's a lot of real dark areas that's real thick. I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm still gonna put comma stroke leaves on this tree, but there's some areas that are just, that really need to be filled in. And it would take me a half a year to do comma stroke leaves on it, but I'm still gonna go over these with, co with comma strokes. But this is really dark areas that I can probably safely fill in without messing anything up and it will save me a lot of time. So 
But this whole area right here is really dark. I'm using sap green black and a touch of Prussian blue. And I'm looking at my picture. I'm trying to follow along, be a good boy. <laughs> trying to trying to get it as close as I can today, which is not real close, but closer than I normally probably would. Yeah, I probably will have to wait till tomorrow and do a lot of these leaves. But I can certainly get some of this done with this brush. You know, it saves time, man. I mean, that's what it's all about. It's time, right? So to speak. As long as it looks good. As long as it looks the way you want it to look. This ain't cheating anyway. I'm just messing with you. It's just a quicker way to do it. Black, sap green, touch of Prussian blue. And I, I put these branches here because I'm going to leave them exposed. This tree is completely backlit. There should be some nice highlights in this grass right here. That's really what kind of makes the picture nice. Some of the highlights in the grass. But this, this will definitely save us some time right here. Because, man, this is a big, there's a lot of leaves on this tree. I ain't kidding you. Lots of leaves. Matter of fact, that's about all it is. Let me put some more right over in here. I, I might keep trying to do some of these leaves. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty impatient. <laughs> as long as they turn out fine. That's what it's all about anyway. Okay. Now, let's start changing things a little bit. Pure cad yellow light. Mix it with some ochre today. Mix it up with some ochre. I'm gonna have this a little greener than I typically would, I think. And I'm going to take a one inch brush and I'm going to mix every bit of this up here in just a second. This is sap green I'm throwing down now. Throw in some ochre here and there. Let's throw some burnt seed in. I, I don't do that hardly ever. Just for something different. Ochre. This is just your base color anyway. We're going to go over it again. Um, let's see here. I got some Prussian blue. Let's start. Let's start bluing this up. There's going to be a big shadow right there anyway. Start throwing some blue down in here. It gets darker as it comes towards you. Sap green to go along with it. Throw some alizarin crimson in down here at the bottom. Red. I have a little bit here. I like it down here in my corners in particular. And along the bottom. Let's see what see if we can mix that up. I got a one inch brush and it's dirty. And I think it'll be okay to use this today. Actually I had black on it. I wouldn't normally do it this way, but I think it's okay. I want to try to stay out of this blue for a minute. Yeah, you know, this is just our base collar. We'll go over every bit of this again with the fan brush. <clears throat> I 
See, I think that bird sand looks pretty good in there. I know, I'm weird. Just mix it all up. All the way to the bottom. And this will be our base. Well, yeah, I told you I was impatient. I'm, I'm still messing around on this with this wet paint right here. I just can't help. <laughs> uh, I'm just making these leaves a little more yellow, a little brighter, bringing them down a little bit. I'm just kind of spreading some paint around, basically. Yeah, I just can't help myself sometimes, man. I, I just want to keep going. It, it's hard to do it with oil paint sometimes. I'll be honest with you. Oil paint does not want to cooperate sometimes. But I love the oil paint. Do what you like, right? <clears throat> yeah, I'm just making these a little more yellow. Showing that the light is kissing them pretty good. Just kind of bringing this up in here too sometimes on a spot here and there. Just messing around basically is what I'm doing. I just want to show you what I'm doing though. Keep you up, keep you up to date on what am I doing. This is just pure cad yellow lights what I'm using right now. It's mixing anyway with the paint that's there. Just throw a spot here and there to show that light's peeking through. I'll have to go to go over this again tomorrow. But I'm just trying to get as much done as I can. Of course, we haven't touched this tree yet. The tree is actually dark. That's why I'm not really too worried about it right now. That definitely darkened it, didn't it? Yeah, that darkened her up. And I usually like to go over a little bit, kind of so we can mix the collars up a little. Sap green. I'm gonna throw in a little Prussian blue with the sap green because I want it a little. I want it to darken pretty quick. This is this is definitely dark here. This is a shadow area here. I don't typically darken it this early as I'm coming down, but in this particular picture, it kind of needs it. You'll probably see what I mean. Yeah, just keep working on it. Just keep keep it going. Okay, Prussian blue, sap green. We're just going to get it darker and darker. Darker and darker. trying to slide off here on me. Yeah, I want it pretty dark in this area today. I'm 
dark, dark, dark. I'm gonna throw in some lizard and crimson too. Prussian blue, lizard and crimson. That'll darken it. Especially in these corners. Russian blue, lizard, and crimson. Real dark. All right, I'm back. See, I put some yellow spots here on the grass because the sun is coming through the tree shining through the tree and the picture i'm looking at this is actually all that's in the picture but i think i'm gonna put a small just a small fence right here i just think it needs something that's that's the only reason like i said you don't have to follow the pictures i rarely do actually i follow this one more than i normally do um we just got to figure out where we want it I'm going to start out kind of small and make it bigger if I need it because it's always easier to do it that way. That's probably a little too small. I don't know. We're just going to throw this in here and see what happens. I don't want to make it too big. But it's got to be proportional. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's enough. Maybe just three. Three posts. You know, I just want something in there. Just something different. Let's make this a little taller. Maybe this and a little taller. Maybe this and a little taller. Uh, let's put a railing, at least one. Let's put one laying on the ground right here. A railing there. I like fence posting pictures like this anyway. Just something, just something different, you know, just something in the picture. Something besides a tree. <laughs> I'll bring that all the way down. Make this a little taller. So you can stand back and look at it, you can see things. I guess just a little taller. Maybe this one a touch wider. Um, get me a paper towel. I'm going to take a little ochre and mix it in with some yellow. You know, as far as the, the sun is basically hitting the back side of this right here, or the light. I don't know. I'll just go around the edges. Because the sun is not, or the light is not directly hitting this anywhere, really. We'll just do what we can. I think it needed a fence in here. I mean, the tree's fine, but come on now, you know, you got to have a little more action than just a tree. Got to have a little interest in it. I'm going to put some right here, maybe. You know, I don't know. Like I said, it's. Add a little more ochre, a little white. I'm just smearing this in just for color, really. Smeared it in. All right, I'm back. I went ahead and I put some flowers here, and I'm going to put a couple bushes here and around the bottom of the posts. 
and the reason is for interest I mean in the picture that I have that I looked at there's nothing here but a tree and that's okay because the main highlights of this painting is the shadow shining through the light it's it's backlit but I, I just I gotta have more than that <laughs> I gotta have a little more interest than that that's just I mean it's okay you know but but anyways I'm gonna put some bush a couple bushes here and some here and they are going to be cerulean blue they're going to be kind of kind of dark I suppose because it's in the shadow down here but that's my plan I like this collar anyway it's a good collar let's get these let's get these two by these fence posts here yeah, I, I got to have a little bit more in a painting than just a tree. I mean, I, it's just me. Tree prob is probably fine, but like I say, it's just me. Okay, let me put a just a touch of white on some of this. Just to spruce it up, but just a, just a little. Not much, just a little bit. Famous last words, right? Just a little. I just want to sprinkle. That's probably enough sprinkle. All right, folks, it looks like a wrap. I think it turned out pretty good. I really like his light shining through the tree right here. I like that. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching.